All right, guys, this is it. Finally have the Raptor R out here in the desert. Now, you guys saw our cross-country journey through the snow, all the massive mountain ranges up north. Now we're gonna test out the Baja capability of it out here. Behind me, it's really cool. You'll notice a gigantic boulder. That is the biggest boulder in North America, a giant rock. And then we have, well, the Raptor on a smaller boulder right here. It was really interesting getting it up here, but uh, having the 37 inch tires and the, the greatest Fox shocks yet on a Ford Raptor, it can still have some fun climbing up stuff, but in my opinion, the most fun attributes of this truck comes from high speed driving with 700 horsepower from the supercharged V8 straight out of a Mustang. You know what, let's uh, get back inside and I uh, do some high speed runs to find out how it comes together. It's an expensive truck and we gotta find out, well, is it worth the money? Out here just check out that view right in front of me this truck looks amazing in code orange this gives us a good glimpse of underneath the front end you have all these reinforcement plates so you can see the fox shocks right there that'll change depending on what modes we go in but overall underneath it's pretty reinforced it's just begging to experience some like crazy off-road stunt. So I think that's the game plan out here. It's pretty nice weather. We are next to Johnson Valley where they do King of the Hammers. All those really exciting off-road uh, festivities. But um, yeah, behind me, look at this giant rock out here. A massive boulder in the middle of nowhere. Uh, apparently that side snapped off in recent years. But on the sides of this boulder, you can see tons of link points where people actually a free climb or just climb to the top. I can't imagine doing that, but hey, there's a scene for everything. And uh, well, let's experience the off-road scene with this guy in front of me. 37 inch tires again, 700 horsepower. Let's kick it in Baja mode, roll off and uh, have some fun out here finally. I knew you guys wanted me to do this and we're actually finally doing it out here. Look at the clearance on this truck. The 37s are legendary. We're almost down to the very bottom now. And then uh, we can uh, crank it in a Baja mode and let that 700 horsepower uh, V8 scream. Welcome to Johnson Valley, California. We are in sand. I got us on this trail. I want to see what it can do out here. An amazing valley is right in front of us. Look at this view. It makes you think about how you could have all of life's problems in the city, all these stresses and concerns, like a vet bill or something like that. Then when you come out here, life just stops it pauses and you can take in the amazing wilderness there's sandstorms happening over there and some rain coming down so a rainstorm the sun is going to be going down in a couple hours and this way i believe is going to be deeper sand i've already aired down the truck to about uh 27 psi for sand you want to go much lower even less than 20 if you want i don't have the bead lock system enabled right now so we're going to do a mix of trail psi uh, level and then uh, sand. I'll be running an off-road initially because that is made for these conditions and Baja kind of opens it up uh, but it's already getting pretty sandy right look at this. L let's put it to the test is this hundred and ten thousand dollar truck online they're going for 150 it's crazy I don't know how the market's so blown up right now let's see if it comes together as a proper six-figure off-road toy let's get inside before the sun goes down now I'll have to keep momentum up for this I have our buddy with me to capture some amazing shots. Here we go, starting up the Raptor R. Windows will be staying up, I'll put us in loud mode. Return to deep snow, sand, yes please. Deep snow, sand is also called off-road mode. We're already back in the setting, just like that. We're putting on our three 60 degree cameras, tire pressure's at 27. Now the critical part is when you go in these uh, conditions, is that you need to keep momentum for sand. If you don't, you could get stuck. We don't have our tires aired all the way down. So we gotta be very careful out here. Let me go into drive. We do have our rear differential lock to give us more grip when the tire starts spinning. Uh, next thing you know, we just gotta go for it. So you ready? The sound of a V8 and a Raptor for off-roading. It's such an amazing purr going on right behind you at all times. I have to keep a bit more momentum. I can, I can already feel how the sand is pretty deep and it's uh, not as responsive for the steering and for the throttle input. So a bit slower for this rocky section and uh, some dips right here up and down. So the suspension clearance guys, I have to say is incredible for, for these conditions out here. Let's uh, climb the secondary bit. Oh, rocks either side. How we look on the cameras, a bit straight, but left more, dodge that rock. And there we have it. Bit of a jump. <laughs> Oh, this is crazy! 
we have made it to a basin down here. That was deep, deep sand. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna pop us into Baja once we get out of this sand right here. Going to the right once is gonna be a Baja setting. Check it out, we made it to a dry lake bed. Let's give it a bit of gas. So 700 horsepower is gonna feel insane out here. Let's pick up speed, I think, once it clears up in front of us. Having 700 horsepower out here is unreal. Oh my god. <laughs> Who can do this out here? This is incredible. <laughs> Easy to be doing out here, but the truck can handle it. 700 horsepower in a truck. here but it just makes it so much more exciting it's just so much power <laughs> oh my gosh there's just so much power Let's try to do some drift action, getting all the way back to the left, guys. Let's do this. I'm gonna stick right here in the middle, and let's see what we got, shall we? So let me go ahead and whip it now. Please let me know in the comment section down below. This truck's just got so much horsepower. You can punch full throttle everywhere. And it's just, it's a wild ride. <laughs> it's a total wild ride out here. We're in sand. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy I got this toy out here in the, the off-road because uh, it is a toy. It comes together like a proper off-road weapon out here. And it's just so much fun. So if you guys enjoyed this kind of content, please let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, we just gotta find a place for to do a jump. I think Glamis might be a good option for that, the proper sand dunes. But uh, let, let me know. If you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. Uh, Rose on me out, subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. Uh, hit the notification bell. Comment your thoughts of my first time truly off-roadedness. Thanks again. See ya.